Alright, what is up guys? My name is Zua from Jiva. Today I'm going to be showing, or I'm not going to be showing, I'm going to be going back to the basics as I have been going pretty fast into um, into the scripting videos I've already been going through at MySQL, which is a little complicated for people, especially for people who are just started Lua and scripting in 5M. So I'm just going to go back, be able, go back to being a little more simple, or for this video at least, and uh, I'll... It's been a while, I know, for making videos, so I'm back now, um, and I took a big break. Uh, I was gone, and I came back, and I took a big break, too. So I'm going to be starting off this resource. It's just going to be going through simple things like more natives. You can find uh, using those natives. And so basically, I'm going to start off this... Uh, I'm gonna start off this uh, resource with calling calling the resource basics. So I'm in my resources folder. I'm gonna call it basics. That's what the resource name and that's what I'm calling it. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna create a new file called um, underscore underscore resource dot lua. And in here, I'm going to open up or I'm gonna open it up, and uh, we're gonna be typing in. Also, by the way, I uh, I have the GitHub. I put this on GitHub. You can find all the, the code that we write today in GitHub. So uh, I'll put that in the description below. Uh, so yeah. So let's let's get started in writing this. Basically, you're gonna need the resource manifest. I don't even honestly. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea what this really does, ex except for like other natives making it work. I think it's good for like server sided events. I just have it just in case. So this will be in the GitHub uh, link in the description. I'll put this there. You can just copy and paste it. So yeah. So in here, I'm going to I'm gonna make we're gonna be making two files. So I'm gonna make a client script here and call or you know, make, make it basic C dot Lua and then a server script uh, basic S dot Lua. Okay. So I did that. Now in the uh, in here, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna create a new files call, uh, just like I just typed in basic C dot Lua, and then I'm gonna create a new file, just like we set up here. The, the C and the S is for server sided. The C is for client side. That's just a good. It's a good practice. What I've been told. So basic uh, S dot Lua. Those are our two Lua files. So. I'm gonna be starting off with writing the client side stuff because it's not. I put the server side here just to do a little ping demonstration, just to show you how to get your player ping, uh, as it's kind of a, a lot of people don't know how to do it. I didn't even know how to do it at first, but I got it to work. So yeah, I'm gonna go into the client, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna start off with just doing some basic things like using some natives uh, to just give out some information of yours. So here I'll make this bigger. Um, I'm gonna type in register command, uh, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna. Do, the first one is server ID, where we'll, we'll just uh, say the server ID. So we're gonna have a function source. Source basically just referring to the person who just did it. Who did that? Uh, who just did slash server ID? So right here, uh, I'm gonna make a separate function actually up here. I'm gonna put a line here just to make it look like a. It's separated this function and I it's just a good I don't know it's just a way to separate them. that's what I did so in here I'm gonna have the server uh, chat message and it'll have a message parameter call that parameter whatever you want just make sure it actually passes through uh, what we write here so this chat message is basically just gonna um, like in the first video it's gonna put a chat message up into the server bot the, the little server chat thing so I'm gonna do trigger event and uh, first one first parameter for this is chat message we've done this before oh, I spelled that wrong chat message um, and then empty quotes just to make it have no prefix uh, you can this 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 uh, array right here table you can make it whatever you want uh, this is RGB so basically if I this is R this is G and this is B if I were to make it green I just do 255 which is a max so that's just gonna make it green uh, yeah I'm, I'm just gonna make it green um, and the last one we're gonna pass to this message parameter just so it actually chats it when we use this function it's gonna uh, put it out on the screen 
So here, when we do the server ID, I'm gonna do chat message um, get player server ID. I'll, I'll like that. And then you pass in the source. And basically, once you run that in game, you do slash server ID, it's gonna say one, two, or whatever your server ID is. So that's done. Um, let's do another one and call it name. So what this will do is return the uh, name, your player name. So I'm gonna do another source here because that's what we're passing through in the end in this function here. And we're gonna do chat message. Um, sorry if I'm going a little too fast, I'm just trying to get this all in the video. The get player name is another native here, and uh, we're gonna pass in the source here. So basically, what we're doing here is this right here just returns the name of the player. This right here returns the ID of the player, and then this chat message function just basically outputs it on your chat box. So yeah, and I'm gonna make a new one and call it uh, register command. Um, uh, let's do let's do health right now. Uh, function uh, source and args. So we're gonna use this args parameter from the register from the command to basically. Uh, kind of control the script. I'll show you. So we're gonna first um, make the we're gonna we're gonna make this set the player's health. So first we're gonna make it so to actually do that to, to set the player's health we're gonna have to use the set entity uh, native the set en set entity health native and then the first parameter to this is you so we're gonna have to do get player pet which, which is basically what I mean you it's just the player uh, that you know call the function so get player pet and then the next parameter for the set entity health is the number you want so when you do slash health uh, one let's say uh, right now actually I'll type this in first so we're gonna need to do args one because when you output the chat in our chat video or where we do the uh, announcement announcement video we talked about how it outputs it into a table the args so we have to do the first argument of the chat or of the art you know of the whatever gets output it so it's gonna output as a string always so we have to do two number which is just gonna make it to like a number which is a native uh, it's a native function to Lua so this will just make it a number so let's say if you were to do uh, slash health zero it will basically be the same thing as doing this basically so that's that's that now um, let's make it say like a chat message um, set set health to so it's gonna make basically say oh your health has been set to now we can actually just put args one here we could but that's just like that I want to show you another native called get entity health which is basically just the same thing as a set but you're just getting it entity that I cannot say entity okay uh health and then we have to get the player there's no second parameter for this uh so you should be fine it, this this right here uh this, yeah. this will just output or this will return your health that the player has so that's that and now I, the last thing that we have on here is pinging pinging a lot of people don't know how to do this I you know like I said I don't know how to do it either but I figured it out um, so yeah let's let's start off with creating uh, let's start off with a command that we're gonna use so ping and then function we're gonna pass through source and edit. So um, right here, I'm gonna register, or I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go to the, uh, I'm gonna go to the server, the server .lua, because that's where we gotta start it off. So let's start off with registering, uh, the pinging event. So I'm gonna do register, register, server event, and then do pinging. And then do add event handler. I've done this before. So basically, this will just. Uh, I'll show you what it does. Pinging. And then this will do function. God, I hate this so much. Uh, sorry about that. So basically, we're going to make it ping. 
because uh, the the get player ping uh, the, this native right here gets player ping that native is returns um, returns uh, your ping but it doesn't work in a client script so you're gonna have to basically ping it to the server side and then it returns it back to the client side which is a which is why a lot of people don't uh, know how to do it so let's do it right here um, let's first start off with creating a variable called uh, local source is equal to source because I think it'll mess up if you just use source and we're gonna redefine it not really redefine but uh, add a variable that doesn't get it confused the local ping is equal to get player ping that's just another variable I want to do just to make it uh, a little more better for us here so now once we did that that's what ping is equal to um, now what we're gonna want to do is uh, let's go back to our client side in here we're gonna create a new uh, above ping that's where I want to do it we're gonna create a net event that returns the ping back so let's do register net event and do return and we get an add event handler, which base th this basically, um, you know, handles whatever's coming back from the server, from the from this event that we just created for ping. So uh, you'll see how it works. So uh, we're gonna make this return, ping, and then function. We're gonna pass the function ping because that's what we will return back. Once we uh, get it back, so instead of uh, we have to redefine the variable again, and we won't make it a local. We'll make it uh, we'll just make it so that you can use it right here. Uh, so do ping number is equal to ping, and I'll let's do the rest of the server stuff because we're not done with that. We're gonna have to trigger the event that we just created, so it'll give back the player or the what's called we'll give back um, the ping of the player who just pinged it so player or trigger client event which is what we just created um, and then do uh, return ping which is you know like I said what we just created and we're gonna have to do source which is just us as I said right here um, and then ping which is uh, the get player ping which which works only here not in the client side it only works in the server side because this is the server or because you know it only works as a server sided so just like the ace permissions only works as server side so that's that's that um, we did we're returning it back to our player and we're, tur we're returning the ping so right here once we get it back it's gonna make the ping number equal to ping which is what gets passed back as you can see it, we use this function to pass it back so now we have to actually return the ping value that we just pinged it at it's a little complicated I know but uh, let's do trigger so once we actually do slash ping it's gonna trigger the uh, trigger the server event that server server event um, pinging like like I said what we just created here and then um, it's gonna have uh, not a function what I'm gonna do trigger event pinging and then once it pings it's gonna make a ping number equal to ping which is what gets passed back through here so a ping number will work wherever you want so chat message uh, chat message uh, right here we're gonna do uh, ping number which will return it so I also want to go and before I want to add something in here that I did too we're gonna play a sound once we do slash ping um, there's a lot of examples on this site that I found when I was looking through the docs for uh, 5M and uh, it, you could play sounds uh, I'll put this in the description it's actually on the github so I don't need to do that but uh, you can play a lot of sounds uh, HUD, HUD things uh, take picture stuff like that I have one already in here so um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna show you how to play sound native works it works client sided to let's let's make it work with just the player that picks not everyone so if you were to I'll show you how to do it with everyone I think so play sound first 
So the first, there's a, there's a decent amount of parameters. So the first one, we're gonna have a source, which is just playing to the person who pinged. As you can see through here, it's just the person. But you could do minus one, and I think that'll give it a uh, ping everyone. It'll not ping everyone, but it'll, it'll play the sound to everyone that we haven't even defined yet. But you know, I'm just gonna do it to the singular. Um, now I'm gonna do the cancel, cancel sound. And then um, it has, to, it's, I don't, I don't really know how this works, but HUD underscore mini underscore game underscore sound set and then zero zero one. Uh, you can find these natives on uh, runtime.5m.net slash natives. Um, I'll put that in the description too. And this is basically it. I'll show you what it looks like in the uh, in game. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be back. So this will just play the sound, uh, and you'll hear what it what it is when I get in game. So I'll see you. All right, before I do that, I'm gonna go to my uh, resources.cfg and do um, start. What is it? Start basics. We'll add on to this resource in the future because I want to go more into the basics and I'll see you in server. Alright, so I made uh, two typos here because I have, because uh, I'm a really silly person. So I said pinning here instead of pinging and I did it here too, so I'm going to put this here. I'm also going to put pinging here too. Save these two. I'm gonna restart and I'll put the console here. Start. So, um, if you do slash ping, um, yeah, there you go. It'll output your ping that you have, and it, it's you can see it's really low because I'm on the same network. I made it print there because I was trying to figure out what I did wrong, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll show you. Uh, I was gonna do something here. I guess I forgot. Um, but uh, let's do slash server. Oh yeah, I was gonna no, remember what I was gonna do. You can see that it's ping that I'm getting right now because if I were to do status in here it would show that I have 9 ping and if I were to do slash ping it's like approximately the same thing because yeah so that's that I want to show you the other commands that we did so slash server ID that's me I'm number one as, as you can see I'm number one here too because I'm the only person uh, I'm gonna show you uh, slash name which is me as you can see Zua there I'm Zua right here too um, health health command health if it's below 100 you're gonna die be because uh, that's that's how it is 200 is the fullest or is the most and uh, 100 is the least if you were to do like 120 it'd be like a little bit left uh, 200 is the most uh, 150 that's that 120 100 I think that's like the least but as you can see that works with the argument too and it says your health and uh, thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to join our discord for uh, the votes that we do for the next videos and things like that because uh, yeah and uh, yeah I don't, I don't know what to say but thank you guys for watching I know it's been a while since our last scripting video so hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah goodbye